uh, you know, leading the whole uh, naval programs in, in uh, Israel aerospace industries. And what you see here is uh, one of our highlights. It is uh, a strategic uh, cooperation between uh, nations uh, for, for the defense of, uh, of the countries. What you can see here is the mission control room. Okay? It's designed uh, by uh, Israel Aerospace Industries and it is equipped with all the systems that are installed on the vessel and remotely controlled from here to the vessel by these uh, data link antennas. Okay? So, uh, the vessel is a multi-mission vessel. It's for uh, uh, critical infrastructure, uh, security, port, security, coastal defense, patrolling, but it also has unique capabilities for mine countermeasure. You know, uh, mines are what's called an asymmetric threat. It's are, they are easy to be laid in the uh, entrance of a port or or, uh, or important uh, canal. And any vessel that is passing is actually in danger. So it's very important to, to have the ability to scan the area because mines are small and the area is big. The mission takes very long, and this is very good for unmanned vessels because you don't have to be on the vessel itself. You can be here. You can replace people e easier here. You can feed them, and the vessel can be smaller because you don't have to accommodate people on it. So, what you're gonna see here inside is all the consoles, all the screens of the of the, uh, of the mission starting with a very smart command and control okay where you can see all the tactical data all the maps but also you can uh, coordinate the mission accordingly the searching area everything like that and all the data is absorbed into the into that uh, screen from the sensor Inside you have all the navigation uh, uh, sensors. You have a 360 degrees camera for uh, watching obstacles you see and to avoid collision. You have day and night uh, optical device uh, that uh, is also for better uh, see at night and also for uh, guiding a gun if you need can guide a stabilized gun if you need to secure or if you need to, to catch, to intercept a, a threat. All of that, and we have a very smart radar that is, uh, is a 300 degree uh, steering radar, not rotating. The, the, the state of the art digital uh, radar, all of those, all of that suit is made by Israel Aerospace Industry. Good afternoon everyone, this is Chaitali Bag, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe, reporting live from IDEX 2023, the 30th edition of IDEX being held at Abu Dhabi and it's beaming with people, one of the largest shows we have ever seen till date and more than that, the most important thing, the Israeli participation this time at IDEX 2023. I am at IAI, the booth of IAI here at IDEX and sitting with Oren Gutter, who is the operational advisor to CEO on the Naval Affairs. Uh, so we will begin our interview today by asking him about the cooperation, about the relationship IA is having with UAE this time. Welcome to our chat room, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Please tell us, yesterday there was a very successful um, demonstration of the vessel that IAI and uh, uh, the UAE uh, is having together. So please tell us more about it. I, first of all, in the level domain, is 
uh, main supplier of the Israel Navy for uh, naval systems, sensors, missiles, and all, all of that uh, together. And uh, we are uh, globally cooperating with uh, shipyards to install our systems on those vessels. And we found Abu Dhabi Shipbuilding as the perfect uh, uh, partner for cooperation in regard of uh, naval vessels. Uh, as a starter, we decided, according to the operational uh, requirement of the local uh, uh, Emirate Navy, that they are looking for uh, a vessel that could uh, do a multi-purpose uh, mission uh, but unmanned, uh, we found uh, Abu Dhabi shipbuilding uh, vessel, the 17-meter uh, design, as the perfect uh, vessel to carry and to hold all those missions. And from that point, we started after the assignment of the uh, MOU two years ago uh, between the, the companies, between the countries, uh, we decided to go further and to, uh, to design that uh, solution together. So here I would like to ask you, what are the solution IAI is being providing in the specific vessel? We are starting from the sensors of the vessel. Uh, we are, the, <coughs> we are uh, offering the um, electrical optic uh, device, uh, it's uh, an infrared capability for day and night, uh, for searching for targets, for uh, navigation. We have uh, 360 degrees cameras for the safety of the vessel and for autonomous navigation. <coughs> we also have a very unique uh, radar. Because of the size of the vessel and the requirement to have a long distance uh, uh, detection of a target, we applied a very unique digital uh, radar of our ELTA division, uh, which usually used for land detection, but we marinized it. It's a fixed, fixed wall, not rotating one uh, radar, and we have uh, four walls uh, covering all the 360 degrees and we also uh, provide the gun fire control which is uh, fully stabilized uh, for a sea good sea keeping and accurate uh, hit and in the end the brain the brain of the vessel with the mission control and uh, mission assignment tactical picture and the uh, control is done by uh, by ii all right now here again, I would like to ask you, uh, Oren, doing all this, I mean, providing the sensors and all the work that you has that has been done by IAI in the vessel, all that has been done in Abu Dhabi, or you made the things uh, in the in Israel and they were exported here. Imported. This this uh, um, demonstration is uh, a successful end of a long process, starting. The beginning uh, was to uh, define together with uh, the local navy and the shipyard mm -hmm. the operational mission and the operational concept of the vessel. Afterwards, when you know where, what are the missions, you select the proper sensors mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to fulfill the mission. When you have the, the sensors, now uh, you um, assign it, you install it on a vessel and you have to build the vessel that will be, uh, f um, according to naval architect, fully stabilized, all the maneuvering, sea keeping, and everything accordingly. So actually, all of it is a long process uh, that uh, was finalized, started uh, by mutual meetings, afterwards um, working each one in his, uh, his uh, local uh, workshop, and then we brought all of it here uh, installed it, integrated here, tested in uh, in, uh, in harbor at sea, and the final uh, demonstration was uh, yesterday. So, how long did it took? I mean, if uh, the reports, if I go by the reports, it took like almost a year to yes, go with that. It, it started uh, a year ago, uh, but uh, it was accelerated, and the last month, I could say, was the main main. Uh, 
activity mm -hmm. uh, actually here in uh, in Abu Dhabi. But does it take so long? I mean, is it normal to have take so long no, a, a year I'm, I'm to take? I'm describing the the long process is was, uh, um, but the actual work together was uh, like uh, a month or two. Alright. So this this specific project has been with the Abu Dhabi shipbuilding. Yes. So is it the first? time happening with any Middle East country or IAI has been collaborating with other Middle East countries before? As far as I know this is the first is the first, first. Uh, country, first successful cooperation. Um, the friendship and the relation between the companies, between the, the countries uh, was uh, was felt through the, the dialogues, through the, uh, the work together. And um, we, we, I, I really want to appreciate the professionality of uh, the engineers here in, uh, in the shipyard and their uh, ambition to, to succeed in this uh, project and, and it, was, it was felt all, all through. Great. After yesterday's demonstration, which was a really successful one and very appreciated one, uh, have you got many more interests because I see uh, IDEX, IDEX 2023 uh, has participation delegations from most all of the Middle East countries and the African countries as well. So I'm sure you must have got many more interest the, in that. The, Can you please tell us more about it? If, if, I, if I may say the most interest nowadays uh, regarding this specific vessel mm -hmm. When you're speaking about uh, anti-submarine warfare and Mayan countermeasure, because this is one of the strengths uh, of that uh, fields of that uh, vessel, uh, we are finding more interest uh, in the Asian countries mm -hmm. uh, facing challenges in the, in the China Sea, in uh, the Indian Ocean, right. and uh, that area, and also in Europe. Um, Unfortunately, the issue of uh, sea mines nowadays is uh, we found some countries that are really concerned from, from that threat and we have already uh, some uh, requirement from those countries and uh, we mutually, us and the Abu Dhabi shipbuilding, will go hand by hand together to promote those, uh, this uh, solution to those countries. But as you said, yes, uh, the Asian countries, the, the Indian Ocean side, the China, the China as well, uh, they have these threats. But I guess I think the African countries also face the same kind of threats. Definitely, if so, if, if there will be a requirement, uh, most of the African countries we found regarding unmanned capability was more for uh, maritime security, mm -hmm. uh, critical asset security, yes. and anti-terror less in the in regards of uh, sea mines mm -hmm. but if uh, such a request will come we will be very very happy to to promote it also there great finally or in today is the second day of idex and um, iai has come for the first time to the idex i believe how it how the show has been it's a, it's a, an amazing show for uh, for uh, professionals uh, from our field of uh, uh, military defense technology all together this is a, a, a really uh, like a, a Luna Park for <laughs> a yes. carnival for right. for uh, learning for studying to meet uh, uh, friends and, and uh, professionals from all over and we really appreciate the, the opportunity to be here uh, before I end I mean since we're talking about IDEX um, I would like to ask you yesterday uh, the VVIP delegation was here uh, the the sheikhs were here, all here. How how was the response from their side, especially at the Israeli pavilion? I unfortunately I was so concerned in running the the uh, demonstration in the uh, mission control room and and on that area. But I am sure that uh, um, the, the the His Highness will be very happy with the uh, technology and the knowledge and the cooperation done between the the companies in the in the countries and we are looking forward for for uh, future cooperation that is great Torin. thank you so much for your time and uh, i really hope next few days it's fruitful for iei here 
since you have come for the first time you will really enjoy the show you will really enjoy the people the enthusiastic it's, it means business here yes, so definitely. it it is really going to be great for all of you thank you, thank you so much for your time thank and we you. hope to see you again in some next shows yeah, definitely. thank you thank so you. much